troops. And this is saying, and this is going to be very interesting here, the attacks that they're suggesting are going to be on the way are not what I think a lot of people are expecting. U.S. officials hold their breath for an Iranian cyber attack on critical infrastructures. What they're saying is, is that the U.S. needs to keep an eye on our water supply and our electricity, that they believe that terrorists here could be ready to strike our infrastructure systems and try to take out our ability to function as a society. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, we've already seen all sorts of attacks taking place. I let you know we heard yesterday from the FBI that here in Houston, in Texas, that just last week, they stopped a terrorist that had a bomb and that they believe was getting ready to detonate uh, an attack here in Houston. But we've also seen attacks, threats, protests, escalation of things in Los Angeles, in New York, Chicago, New Orleans, in cities around the nation. There has been things intensifying left and right. And they're saying now they're preparing to attack our systems here in the U.S., they believe. And we heard from them yesterday. Have you ever seen a child react like this after a phone or tablet was taken away from them? What? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Because we just investigated this trend. Mommy, what? Oh, not right now. Mama, I'll bring the iPad back later, okay? And the results are disturbing. Nekfam, if this reminds you of a kid in your life right now, you definitely cannot skip this video. And the data I'm about to share with you is essential for anyone living in today's time. He's just always in his own world. He really quiet for real, unless he know you. This is the dark future of iPad kids also known as the Generation Alpha. Apparently, um, this eighth grade kid cannot spell a single word correctly on his list. We're talking about anyone in your family who is 13 years old or younger right now. Kids who were born at the same time as the iPad in 2010. Kids who at eight years old already had their first ball. <laughs> And they're the only humans in the history of the world to have grown up with a gadget as a babysitter. Mama, bring it back, okay? I mean, some of these kids haven't even experienced what it's like to get dirty and play outside with neighbors. They literally cannot comprehend a life without social media. And I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well. This is Brother Abiyah coming at you with another lesson, a pretty quick one. I only got three precepts that I wanted to uh, touch up on this. And the brother, I want Gabar put out the first video that I played. Um, you know, talking about uh, you know these Iranians, these uh, these migrants from other countries over here, about to hit the uh, you know the water infrastructure and the uh, electricity. And of course, at first, you know, my mind automatically goes to the second address, uh, fifteen and sixteen. You know, but I, I bring that out all the time, and I looked at that, you know, at a you know in a different aspect. Because I don't really, really, uh, I really don't hear a lot of, uh, you know, brothers bring out, you know, what's going to happen with, with children when the electricity goes out. You know, and that second video displayed a whole hell of a lot, man. Okay, because these little little kids are, are, are used to uh, having electricity, as we all are. But they're used to these devices, man. They've grown up with them, man. You know, I was born in 79, pretty much an 80s baby. We ain't have all that, man. You know, we had like, you know, Atari and all that, but we wasn't locked on on the games all, all day or we didn't have a tablet that we would, had our face sunk in all day. You know, we was outside, man, playing red light, green light. You know what I'm saying? That's what we was doing, freeze tag. You know, we was outside, man, riding bikes and all that, man, playing stickball, right? But a lot of these kids out here don't know nothing about that, man. They stay in the house. 
a lot of these uh, children that's out here now anti-social, you know, they don't know how to deal with others. You know, how are they going to, how are they going to react? I mean, I want to look at it from, from the aspect of a child, man. You know, from a, a child's uh, perspective, you know. So it says, uh, these are my three scriptures I wanted to bring out. Second address, the fifth chapter and the eighth verse. There shall be a confusion also in many places. And the fire shall be off sent out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places. And the menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. Okay, now this is first and foremost talking about literal uh, monsters. Like women, uh, children coming out uh, deformed. Okay, looking abnormal. All right. And then secondly, you know, the way these children behave, especially in that video, you know, they behave like monsters, man. Once that elect, uh, electronic uh, device, Salaki, was taken away, you know, you seen how they were acting. You know, it was night and day. So just imagine <laughs> when the electricity and when the electricity goes out. Just imagine how they're going to react then, man. You know? It brings me here. Uh, Because you know how Esau does, man. Let's go to Matthew 10. Let's go to Matthew 10 real quick. Matthew 10. And I'll start at... uh, Let's start at 16. Right? And it says, Behold, I will send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children. (laughs) This is my point. And the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Okay? So what if Esau, you know, what if, you know, let's just say the, the electrical grid goes down. You know, I'm just a man. I'm just, this is, you know, I'm just thinking. The electrical grid goes down. These children are bugging the hell out because they don't know what the hell to do with themselves. And then the government comes out and says, you know, the the Hebrew Israelites did it. (laughs) And it is, you know, the government is saying, you know, you you hand, you you give up these uh, Hebrew Israelites and, you know, we'll, we'll do this for you. We'll do that for you, man. With that not cause these children to go against their parents, you know, to cause them to be put to death because all they know is this, uh, this digital world, man, we living in. That's all they know is these electronics, these tablets, these phones, you know, that's all they know. That's, I, this is something I was thinking about, man. It may not be, I ain't trying to go too deep or nothing like that, but You know, seeing that that video made me think of that, man. You know, how are these children really going to react, you know, when shit hits the fan and and they not able to do uh, what they're accustomed to doing? You know, these uh, these these tablets and these phones are are like a comfort zone to them. And and once taken away, I can only imagine how they're going to act, man. Because they're not able to really function in the world. You see how they are in classrooms and things of that nature, man. They don't know how to how to be uh you know how to how to be sociable, if that's even a word. <laughs> you know, but they don't. So I was just thinking about that. Like what what if, man? You know, Esau always got some shit that he cooking up, man. Okay? It'll cause a problem and he'll make it he'll make it look like someone else did it and then he'll bring out a solution you know for the weak minded uh, to to run to man and you should be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that endures to the end shall be saved 
let me get this last one here. Like I said, it's just a quick cut. It was just a thought, like, what if, you know? What if, man? How are these children gonna gonna act, man, when when shit hits the fan, man? And of course, we know some of these children are of the one-third remnant. Yes, we know this, man, but a lot of them are straight-up demons, man. What are they gonna be doing out here? What type of mischief and underhanded bullshit are they going to be into, you know, when all hell breaks loose? This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book okay so we're coming into a time now like no other in the history of the earth man okay and it's going to get real real bad out here real soon we just going to continue to keep saying it you may say oh you sound like a broken record so what this is our job to warn the people man you know that's our job to warn you so if we're getting repetitive oh well this is what we are supposed to do, man. Okay? And we see what's coming. And we see that it's near. And it could happen at any time. It could happen at any time, man. Watch them, watch them badass kids, though. Man, I'm going to watch mine. You watch yours. Okay? Because in an instant, they could be put in a predicament where they will turn on you uh, faster than you think, man. And that's all I just I just wanted to put that vibration out there real quick. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I know it was short, but Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm going to say shallow on to the next one.